Hello everyone. In this video, I'm gonna demonstrate how you can summarize a whole YouTube channel so that instead of having to scroll through a channel like this and trying to see what are the different videos about, you can have a visual representation like that where you can see a knowledge graph of the main ideas, where you can see how those ideas relate to one another, where you can also zoom into the specific topics that are automatically identified using the AI that relate to this channel and where you can also just generate quick summaries like this or also interesting research questions that help you develop your ideas further. So if you're interested, keep watching and I will demonstrate how it works. Also, please subscribe to this channel so this content can get recommended to more people and to also support my work. First of all, the channel that we will analyze is Y Combinator. I think you know it. It's a really popular channel about uh, various business techniques that startup founders can use and also on startup culture and how to develop it and so on. It's a very interesting channel. I like watching it a lot. And it has lots of really interesting content. So we're going to try to analyze it today and to summarize it using Infranotus. Uh, to start, we go to Infranotus and we go to import a new graph. So what we're going to do is go to the apps page and then analyze text content and enter the name of the channel, Y Combinator. And when we click next, we select the YouTube channels import app. And here you need to choose how many results or how many videos you're going to analyze. In this case, it's going to be top 1000 results because Y Combinator has 600 videos or so. And here you have an option. You can analyze just the channel video titles only, right? So this will only analyze the titles of the videos. This is good if you just want to get a general overview or you can analyze the video subtitles for the channel. So then you're analyzing the whole content of the channel which is much more detailed and you will get much more information. It's going to take longer to process. In this case, I'm going to show you how you analyze video subtitles. So you click next and then it's going to be visualized. It takes a couple of minutes. So I'll jump straight into the graph itself here and I will show you how it's going to look once you import all the data in. So the way that Infranotus works is that it visualizes text as a network, as a knowledge graph. The words that are used in the text are the nodes uh, so, for example, here you can see the words like people and things and also words like yeah, because they're used in videos a lot, right? So, these are the words and if the words are used in the same context, in this case, um, in the same part of the conversation or of a video, they will be connected to each other on the graph. So, this visual representation already shows you really nicely what are the main ideas and how they relate to one another because the closer they are to each other, the uh, also more semantically closer they are and if they have the same color it means they appear in the same context. You actually have the main topics indicated here and uh, we use AI to calculate them. So here we see that this channel is talking a lot about people, things and on a high level it's talking about decision making so there's a topic on decision making here, startup applications, product launch and company growth. So that gives you a general idea of what the channel is about. Then you have a really nice summary here that summarizes the whole content of the channel really quickly. So it says here that the text talks about fundraising misconceptions, startup mentorship pitfalls, pricing strategies, customer focus, and product market fit. It emphasizes the importance of building a successful company, understanding customer needs, and making strategic decisions. This is a really good summary, actually, of the content of the channel. This is what they're talking about there. And also, you have an AI-generated question here that's based on the gaps that were identified in this knowledge graph structure. So here it's saying, how can emerging software companies leverage the perception of time and product market fit to build million dollar valuations within the first year comparing strategies between high growth areas like Silicon Valley and emerging markets. So this is an interesting question to explore which is identified based on the gaps in this content, right? So it's kind of like if you wanted to develop the content uh, of Y Combinator further, this would be the question to ask because it would connect the topics that are not well connected together. So this gives you a nice visual summary. You know the main topics. You also have AI generated summary and question to explore. Already a lot to work with but there's much more and much more interesting stuff to do. So first of all, what I like to do when I see a graph like this, I actually like to remove the parts that I find evident. So I want to slice off the top layer of ideas that uh, I find somewhat generic, right? So I know that this channel is going to talk about people and things, right? So I'm gonna select those, I'm gonna hide them from the graph. And then I see what's hiding underneath. Then I know that the words like, yeah, they're used a lot, right? So I'm gonna 
select this word and hide it because they probably have a lot of conversations there on the channel. Uh, the word a lot is used a lot, so I'm gonna hide it as well. And then also words like company, kind, I think also time, I'm gonna get rid of those. Slice off the top layer of obvious stuff to see what's hiding underneath. So now what happens is that you get a much more detailed structure. You have more different clusters that are more separated from one another and that gives you much better ideas, right? So I can even go further and remove things like make because I know it's about making things. I know it's about products. I know it's about founders. I know it's about startups so and also start like let's just hide all of those and then let's see what's hiding underneath. Okay, now we're getting to interesting stuff. We see that there is a, a lot on having good ideas. That's interesting. I can actually click on those and I see the exact parts of the videos where they talk about good ideas, which is really amazing because I don't just see what these videos are about. I can be like, okay, I want to see where they talk about good ideas and work. And here, look, I have the exact video and the exact part of the video with the time code where they're actually talking about this particular subject, right? So that's pretty amazing. It doesn't solve their problem, you know right away. And so all the research in the world is good, but until you can put something in front of people, okay. you have no friggin' idea whether it's gonna work. There we go. He's mentioning exactly those terms that we just selected on the graph. So this is really useful because you get a really quick way to jump into the content that you find relevant. So not only you get an overview, but you can also jump into the parts of the content that is interesting for you, that is important, right? So this is how you would use the graph to also understand uh, where you can start watching this channel, so to say. I can also use the actual topics to jump into this uh, different clusters of ideas I'm interested in. So if I click here, it's going to reveal high level ideas. It's kind of like AI generated names for the clusters of ideas that this channel is talking about. So for instance, here I can see that they're talking about work growth, uh, launch story, interesting solutions, and tech investment. It, actually, if I go to main ideas here, I can see more topics and smaller ones. I always like to actually look at the smaller ones because they're more interesting. So for example, here, user questions, right? So there I can be like, okay, let's look into here. User questions, what are those about? So I can click on one of the nodes from there, then made, actually even use this cluster itself to understand, you know, what are the main ideas here and so on. So I select some of them. I zoom into this cluster and then I can see exactly the parts of the videos where they're talking about these subjects. What's even cooler is that I can summarize only the visible parts of the video. So I highlight the parts of the graph. I don't need to watch the videos. I can just click this button here and then it's going to send all of those statements to AI and then generate a uh, a summary of just that part of, of the content. So that can be really interesting if I want to understand what they're talking about in relation to a specific topic. Like here, for instance, uh, they're saying uh, they're discussing various topics, including Overwatch, Blizzard games, building great stuff through irrationality, new opportunities from challenges, and the importance of prioritization and feedback in business. So there I get to the really specific stuff that those guys like to talk about in their videos, how important it is to get feedback from users, how important it is to prioritize uh, what you need to work on, and also how you should be always looking out for new opportunities and also challenges and problems because this is what allows you to develop better products. So there you see I can also summarize not only the whole content of the channel, but I can zoom onto a part that I'm interested in, either a cluster or a set of ideas, and then I can just click summarize visible here and then it's just going to summarize this topic that I selected. So that's a really interesting way to summarize the content uh, that is really important to me. One last thing I want to show you is how you would actually generate new ideas from this content. So what we've seen so far was me trying to understand what they're talking about. But we all know that if we just summarize data, it's great, we learn something new, but the most learning happens when we start asking interesting questions. So what are the questions that we should be asking? You actually have a hint of that here in the AI Insights panel, question to explore. So here it's always generating questions for you based on identifying the gaps. And if you want to jump a little bit deeper into this process, you actually can go here, blind spots. And here it's gonna show you, uh, if you click highlight and network, it's gonna show you which topics are 
not well connected in their discourse. So for example, I can see that they talk about, let's say, let's, let's switch through, through a few of them, investor pitches and user questions. So they have those topics, they're not so well connected. So there is an interesting opportunity in this gap because if we try to think of a question that would connect those two topics together, those topics that they talk about but they, that they themselves don't yet connect, we will come up with a very interesting question and a novel idea that maybe they haven't uh, talked about yet. Right? So if we actually click AI inside question here, it's going to send this gap uh, and the knowledge graph structure that uh, is underlying this gap to AI and then AI is going to generate an interesting question for us that can help us explore this content further. So here it's saying, how can the decision-making process of influential figures shape the ways in which we understand and enact change in the real world, enhancing the quality of life? We can generate more questions and see, for example, here, how can making pivotal decisions and building innovative structures influence the ways we live and affect real-world change in our lives and the places we inhabit. So if we want to answer this question using the content of the channel itself, we click on Elaborate and then click Elaborate, making sure that we tick the Use This Context button, and then it's going to try to extract the answer to this question uh, from the content itself. So it becomes a really nice way to think together with the content. It's like you're uploading the whole uh, knowledge that they have uh, from YouTube into this knowledge graph and then you start interacting with it using the built-in AI. So this is a really interesting approach of kind of exploring someone's knowledge, not just summarizing it, but using the AI to find the gaps uh, and the interesting ideas and then trying to generate questions that you try to answer yourself and if you cannot answer them then you generate the answers and then you think together with AI in order to develop this discourse further. So this is how it would work out. Try it out on infranodus.com. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, also if you have any feedback on the features you would like to see or on making it more useful, please let me know. Thank you.